this was the first question. Uh, this is a straightforward question. A patient on an antipsychotic, haloperidol, and he is presenting with raised levels of CPK, fever, and autonomic instability. So diagnosis is clearly NMS, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Somebody is asking, sir, how to prepare for such googlies? See, uh, they are not googlies. Uh, if we if we just you know study superficially and uh, with the hope that everything would come from the PYQs or last year subjects, even if they ask question from the previous year topics, they are going vertically deeper. They are asking deeper question. Look at this question, right? Even in this question, this is a PYQ only. But now they are making it USMLE type. What is the next best step in the management, right? So a bit of deeper understanding would be required. And this is true for INICT as well as NEET-PG. So thode se concepts building pe focus karna hi hai. It is not optional. Anyways, this is NMS. And what is the treatment of NMS? You have to stop the antipsychotic. And the drug of choice for NMS is dentroline. So A is the answer. Let me know if there is any mistake in the recall that I have collected. Second, again, a very standard question. A patient is coming to you with sudden loss of vision, a neurological deficit. There is no abnormal finding. And then there is the history of la belle indifference, lack of concern with the symptom. And then they have also given history of a loss of family member in an accident. So everything goes towards conversion disorder. This is a standard question. La belle indifference is being asked every single in every single exam. Okay, I am sure all of you got it right. These two are pretty straightforward questions. Uh, detail maybe with other options, we, we will release the explanations, the videos, but this is recall where we are trying to wrap it up quickly. Again, third question, pretty standard, right? Grandiosity is about believing himself to be very rich. Nihilism, world has ended, the Cotard syndrome. Persecution, someone is planning to harm. And delusion of influence, thoughts, actions are being controlled. Interestingly, a question on delusion of influence was asked by FMG examiners last year. And now they have given this term influence in the INICT exam. Earlier, they used to use the word control or passivity phenomena. This term influence was used by FMG examiners and now in the INICT. Okay, question is Is this question correct? Aman is saying, why not somatization? Aman, bita, thoda sa conversion disorder ke, if you go a bit deeper, na, uh, there has to be neurological deficit, lack of concern. In somatiz somatization disorder, it would be excessive concern with the symptom, not lack of concern. Again, this is a standard question. So A is with uh, 2, B is with 1, C is with 3, D is with 4. I'm pretty happy. Uh, first, second, third question are from marathon also. Forget about the quick revision video or the mission videos. In the last one and a half hours, we discuss these, all these topics. So this one also covered in forensic in marathon. A straightforward question. Sexual pleasure achieved by use of non-living or inanimate object is called as fetishism. I'm pretty sure most of you got it right. Frotterism is about touching. Voyeurism is about peeping Tom. Exhibitionism is about exposing yourself. And this is fetishism. I'm sure most of you got it right. Achyut beta, aapse ye wale, we'll, we'll create a strategy video now that INICT is done. We'll cover those points there. Ah, this is a question where some of you might have struggled, but again, you can easily rule it out, uh, rule out the other options and answer it. But in this question, even if you struggle, that's okay. It's a new question. DMDT has never been asked in the past. Mujhe ek baat hai ye. Was it six year old or seven year old? Was it six year old or seven year old? Did the question say six year old or seven year old? Can anyone answer in the comment section? Was it six years old or seven year old? Seven year old. Okay. So a seven-year-old child has episodes of anger outbursts many times a week out of proportion of the situation and remains irritable for most of the time. 
so this is actually the classical definition of dmdd but even if you did not know that we remember in opposition defined disorder this history of defiance disobeying in conduct disorder we remember history of things like stealing bullying all of that so you rule it out you rule it out there is no history of inattention no history of hyperactivity this is the last option left so if some of you were able to rule out the other options and got it right great otherwise remember that in dmdd the primary symptom is irritability the child is always irritable and then there are sometimes when he have when he will have an anger outburst verbally or behaviorally so this is option d uh there was another question on macnaughton's rule which would be covered by dr atul sir in forensic medicine so i saying angry was also mentioned so add kar dete hain angry अदरवाइज मेरा रिकॉर्ड ठीक है ना द क्वेश्चन आर दे ओके एनीथिंग आई एम मिसिंग ठीक है 